family, if you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life, and particularly for the woman over 40. But if you're under 40, don't worry, you're welcome. There's some gems here for you to get as well. Now on my channel, I'm gonna start a new series called Wardrobe Essentials. Today's video is all about the essential earring or the essential earrings I personally feel that you need to have in your wardrobe or every woman or every fashionista or anyone who wants to elevate their look, elevate their wardrobe, elevate their style. These pieces I think will have a high impact on what they wear on a day-to-day -day basis or when they're going out, when, they, when they're going to a particular party or dinner, just a, or even just a day-to-day -day earring. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now let's get started. Who's counting? I was. I was counting. I got something for you to count. You count these knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you need to count these knuckles. <laughs> and the first type of earring you need is a statement earring. Now your statement earring should be something with color. You can use different textures, different shapes, different materials. You can use wood, or um, I have a pair of earrings that made out of, they're made out of glass, ceramic, whatever you have made, it should be a, it should just make a statement. It should elevate your look. You should be able to put this earring on with an all black ensemble, or all white ensemble, or maybe a simple pair of jeans and a t-shirt or a simple pair of jeans and a tank or shorts or what have you. And that piece alone should be the center of attraction for your outfit. You didn't need anything to help it shine or help you glow or make you look more elevated, make you look like you have intention in your style for that particular day. That is the purpose of a statement earring. The second type of earring you need in your wardrobe is a hoop. Now honey, catch some of this right here. Your hoop should be all different colors, different shapes, different sizes, materials, just like your statement earring. It should have different tones. You can have silver hoops or gold hoops. I personally love my gold hoops. And I have thin gold hoops. I have these like this. I have small little ones that I wear to work. You know, you can do like, I have a pair of earrings that are pearl hoops. Just something that's gonna be of interest. You don't have to go with just a pair of little uh, gold or silver hoops, but if that's your thing, if that's what you like, if that's what you're comfortable with, then you do you and you do that. But personally, I like them all. I like the silver, you know, I like a wide silver hoop or a thin, really large silver hoop. I don't want anything that's gonna weigh my earlobes down. But I think every lady, every girl, every child, every little girl, you know, they can wear little silver hoops or little gold hoops as well. But I think every woman should have a pair of nice pair of hoops in her wardrobe. And you don't have to go out and spend tons of money. They have their hoops that come in 14 karat gold or 10 karat gold, or you can get hoops at um, H&M at the, what we call the Chinese store in the South, you know, the beauty supply store, they have hoops. You can get a pack for six, $7. But if you want it to last a little bit longer, you're gonna to need to pay a little bit more money for that. You're gonna, you can get hoops at uh, Zara, or H&M has some you know, okay kind of hoops, but you know, if you're gonna be spending, say 10, 15, 20 dollars on a pair of hoops, they're gonna last you a lot longer. They're not gonna fade quite as readily as if you uh, bought them at the, at the beauty supply store. So every woman should have a pair of hoops, no matter what your, flavor is, whether you like silver or gold, you should always pair, have a pair of hoops or multiple pairs of hoops, the small ones, maybe medium and large. The third type of earring that every woman should have in her wardrobe is a pair of studs or a pair of pearl studs in particularly in my opinion. Now every woman, you can get, every woman should have a pair of pearl studs period. You can have real studs or fake studs. The studs that I have are probably $3. I probably bought them at H&M or Walmart, um, somewhere where they came on a pack with different sizes that go all the way down from the teeny tiny ones to big ones. These are the perfect earrings if you're gonna go for a an, job interview or if you just wanna have a simple day, just wanna put something in your ears so that you can just go out the door, then this is what you need. But you should have a pair of uh, pearl studs. Now, if you don't like pearls, even though if you don't like them, you still should have them. You can have some diamond studs. Now, I personally don't have any real diamond studs. It's just not my thing. I like gold. Um, but if you don't 
like diamonds, you can have a diamond esque stud, or you can have like some diamond, little dangly diamond um, earrings, or if you don't like the regular just stud pearls, you can have earrings with pearl um, accents, something with a little dangle to it, or just as long as it has some sort of pearl on it somewhere, it's a very classic style, it's a very feminine style. A pearl is timeless, it will never go out of style, it's not something that's trendy. You can get earrings that are trendy with pearls in them, but an actual pearl is not a trendy item, it's timeless. So ladies, we should all have some pearl-like earrings in our wardrobe. And the fourth type of earring that every woman should have in her wardrobe is something fun, maybe something that's trendy, something that speaks to her aesthetic, her personal style, whether it's something tiny, whether it's something big. I personally am a very colorful, vibrant person, so I like anything that has color. I like anything that looks like Ankara or has an African type vibe. I like the gold swirly type of earrings. I like up. Uh, a big earring, a big something that hangs, something dangly. I love gold, as you can see. So I'm gonna always love a gold earring. Just something that just speaks to what I like to see or what I feel comfortable in, what looks good on me, or what I feel looks good on me. But just something that speaks to your your particular your <laughs> your particular style. And if that's something that's very tiny, very dainty, or just a pair of gold balls or just a, a, a diamond stud, that's perfectly okay. But as long as it's fun and it makes you happy and you feel elevated in your style, it's something that goes with your aesthetic, something that you can just put on and it'll just fit any outfit that you wear. I, I probably have like 40, 50, 40, 50 different pair of earrings that just, uh, I just switch in and out. But my go-to, my go-to is a pair of gold hoops. That is my go-to. So whatever your go-to is, when you're getting dressed, you, uh, uh, that earring that you find yourself gravitating to again and again and again, that's the earring, that's your fun, trendy earring. And so that's what everyone should have in their wardrobe as well. Now the last pair of earrings that you should have in your wardrobe is a blingy blingy is what I call it, a blingy blingy earring. Something you, that you can wear when you're going to a black tie event or something where you need to dress up or you know, Easter Sunday, Pastor's anniversary, <laughs> Christmas, New Year's type of earring. It can be something that's round and just, it just needs to bling and just set your outfit off. It needs to have diamonds or in my case, uh, cubic zirconium or, how you pronounce that honey? I don't even know. This was <laughs> oh, <laughs> Swarovski. So, so, so what? Swarovski. So, so what? So what? Swarovski. Swarovski crystals. Swarovski. <laughs> Swarovski. Swar. Swar. Swarovski. Swarovski. I'm gonna have to practice that. Swarovski. 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 <laughs> that was the lady. More, Mora. Moira. Swarovski. 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 Swarovski crystals, something that's just gonna bling. Uh, I just would not be putting a lot of money in this type of jewelry because I'm only gonna wear it every once in a blue moon, but I do like to have it on hand and you should like to have it on hand as well. Now, if you're going to church with your, your big fabulous hat on and you got your, your skirt suit all together, your dress, and you just have on some simple earrings, Sister, you know you need a little bling. You know you need a little bling. You can purchase this <laughs> this type of jewelry at the beauty supply store as well, or you can go a little high end and get it at so a dealer's or a department store. Don't let it stress you out. You don't have to spend a lot of money on these earrings, but if you want them to last a little bit longer, you're gonna spend a little bit more coin. I love, love, love shopping at Zara, and I like H and I like H and M, but I love shopping at Zara for their earring pieces. They're really well made most of the time. Like the pieces I've purchased, if I've purchased 10 pieces, at least nine of them were really, really well made. And just different, I think they go, they mimic styles that they see on the runway, so they're always 
trendy, uh, but sometimes they're very traditional, uh, pieces that are last a long time. But I love shopping at Zara for my accessories and my, particularly my earrings because they're just every season there's something different, there's something new. They usually will have something with pearls and they, they're usually most of it um, is gold tone, but they have silver tone sometimes. And a lot of times they have color, a lot of color. So I love purchasing pieces from Zara. So if you go on Zara's website, um, and I'm not getting paid for this, but if you go on their website and you see pieces that you like, I would recommend just go ahead and purchase them because most of the time they're really, really well made and they look really good with your outfits. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy this series as it goes along. If it's something that you think you will enjoy, just let me know in the comments below. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, cost you absolutely nothing go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you love this video if you like any of my videos go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you don't like it just give me two thumbs up but that's just gonna give me a thumbs up anyway <laughs> i would greatly appreciate it again have a blessed blessed day and thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me bye-bye